Hey, welcome back guys. Quick follow-up video to the last one. In the previous video, we uh, expanded upon the domain controller deployment. We created some OUs, created a few users, and then we joined a Windows 10 machine to our domain. Today, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at um, joining a Windows 11 virtual machine. It would be the same thing as a Windows 11 physical PC. We're gonna join that to the domain. And then we're going to log in with one of those domain accounts and get things going. All right, guys, we're on the domain controller. I'm just going to verify. We do still see our Jedi PC01 here. This is that Windows 10 box. We still have our Jedi user, which is the domain administrator, Luke Skywalker. We have our just default user, not default, but a non-admin user here, Han Solo. We didn't create any groups yet. We don't have any servers yet. This is kind of where our domain's at for now. So let's jump over to that Windows 11 box and get it joined. All right, guys, so Windows 11, you're gonna go to System. There's more than one way to get there, but if you right-click this PC in File Explorer, go to Properties, that'll take you there. Okay, under this menu, you're gonna wanna find Rename This PC Advanced. If you just click on Rename This PC, that's all it'll let you do is give it a name. If you want to change the name and or join the domain, you're going to have to go to this advanced. So we can go here, we'll change it, and we'll change the name and we'll join it to the domain at the same time. So let's go Jedi PCO2 domain unicorn.local. And if we just left it at that, it wouldn't work because we almost forgot to change our DNS server. Remember, as in the previous video, the DNS server must be the IP address of your domain controller. If you have multiples, then you can add you know, a primary and secondary. If you have multiple domain controllers, that is, you can add a primary and a secondary. We're gonna give that DNS server the address of our domain controller. 36, I believe that's correct. We're gonna save that. We're gonna close it. Let's verify. So we're gonna go command prompt. Sorry guys, not super used to Windows 11 yet, but we'll get there. IP config, all. We should see our DNS server right here is the IP of our domain controller. And that means we should be able to resolve the unicorn.local name. And we can, so shouldn't be much stopping us from joining the domain at this point. Let's give it a shot. Remember when we join it, we're gonna use a account that has permissions to join to the domain. We kept it simple. We made Luke Skywalker domain admin. He's going to have all the privilege he needs. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass the credentials for Skywalker here. Skywalker L is the username. We'll get that password in there. Welcome to the unicorn.local domain. Success. You have to restart. We'll go ahead and do that. Pause the video while it's rebooting. All right, guys, our Windows 11 machine has rebooted. We should be able to log on with a domain account. As you see, we click other user. It says sign into Unicorn. So that is our domain, our NetBIOS domain name. So we can try, let's try Han Solo. He's not a domain admin, but by default, he should be able to log into any domain joint PCs. And it looks like Han is getting logged in. Give that a second, make sure it all loads up. And actually guys, while that's loading up, let's jump back to our domain controller. And again, I like to keep things tidied up here in order. Get it out of that default OU. So you can right click move or you can just drag this guy right to the OU where you want it. I like mine in the computer's OU that I've nested under the unicorn OU. So we're not using these default OUs here. And that'll make more sense once we start building out group policies and things like that. Okay, this should be just about done here. Let's give this a second to get all the way logged in just so we can verify that we are 
successfully logged into the domain as Han Solo domain account. Pause the video, be right back. All right, guys, that took about another one minute there off the screen. Let's just verify who we're logged in as. So you can do Windows key plus R to get a run box, CMD for command prompt. And then you can type in who am I, and then I'll show you the username, including the domain name. Who am I? There we are. So unicorn, that's just a VMware tools pop up there. Unicorn backslash solo H. So that says that you're logged into the domain unicorn as the user solo H. That's the user ID. All right, guys, so now we have a Windows 10 machine, a Windows 11 machine, both joined to our server 2019 domain. We got that domain controller up and running. DNS is functioning. We've built out some OUs. Um, I think I'll stop the video here. Maybe in another one, we'll look at groups and maybe even group policy and take a look at what, you know, the power of having a domain can actually do for us. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button. Give this a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. I'd be glad to create something for you. And until the next one, take care, guys.